Before I started planting here along this fence line, there were a few apple trees planted and it's uh, the wrong soil type. It's too acidic right here for the apple trees, I think. But anyway, they've uh, started to die off. I have one more that's left. It's a, kind of a unique situation. I'll show you in a minute. But the uh, Japanese beetles would attack the apple trees. There was one here, a couple more down there, and they would just be loaded up with these. So I'm prioritizing the uh, blueberry bush. That was one of the first things I planted. I have a lot of ground cover, some lemon balm and rosemary. And now this year, a few different things are coming up. Like this thing that the Japanese beetles just love is a blackberry. Uh, I didn't plant, that just came up. And then in the back, birds would perch there and they would drop the seeds of tulip poplar trees. And it seems like the beetles really love those as well. They're on the uh, blackberry here, but they're eating some of the leaves from the poplar and a lot of the leaves from the blackberry. But that's something I didn't plant. It's something that uh, potentially will take over. So it's kind of a, a helpful thing for me just to leave it be because if they eat this thing down so much that it dies out, perfect. Then I get to, to save my blueberry and a few of the other few of the other species that I'd like to keep. So just something to keep in mind if you have a, a pest, sometimes you can just leave it alone because you want to know what's your actual goal. And mine is to produce more blueberries. All this other stuff, that's just bonus for me. Here we'll take a look at this goofy apple tree. So all the other ones died, died out. This one's starting to die out as well. So while the branches were malleable, I tried to weave it. And I'm just going to try this out because I would love to stick some willow cuttings in the ground at the wetter part of this site and see if I can do something like this and make a little living art installation. And it, I mean, if it lives, that could be a great spot to plant a climbing vine and let it go up into this chaos.